Hi my loves, how are you guys? I hope you guys are okay. I have a really, really quick message for you guys. Um, See, God doesn't play when it comes to you guys. Okay, God says you are important and he is not playing when it comes to you guys, okay? If you are not important, half of the stuff that you guys are battling right now, you wouldn't be battling it. Let me just tell you that. If you are not important, God would not be showing you what's ahead relating to your enemies, who your enemies are. I put a message out about you guys being able to hear your enemies. If God did not feel like you were important and you didn't have an important purpose, God would not reveal who your enemies are. God would not let you hear your enemies. You get what I'm saying? God would not give you the, the heads up as to what's happening. Do you see what I'm saying? Because you guys have the heads up, you are able to protect yourself. You are 10 steps ahead. You know when there's warfare coming in because you're ahead of everything, right? I want to read a scripture to you guys. So we are in the year uh, 2022, right? Remember when I put out that video and um, I was like, whoa, it's, I kept seeing like two, two, two on the clock and stuff like that, right? Let me show, let me read something to you. This is Daniel 2, verse 22. He reveals deep and hidden things. This is God revealing deep and hidden things. He knows what lies in darkness and the light that dwells with him, okay? So God reveals to you guys hidden things. He reveals hidden things. If God is revealing hidden things, what, what does the word hidden mean? Something that is not phys physically seen, something that cannot be seen, something that's hidden, okay? Which means that even, you may not even find it in the Bible. Jeremiah 33 verse 3, come to me and I'll teach you the things that you did not know. There's a lot of stuff that God teaches us in spirit that's not in the Bible, okay? And the only way you're going to know is having a relationship with him in spirit and he'll reveal these things to you. So now having the gift to hear your enemies and see your enemies it is a blessing, like I was telling you guys before. Now, I'm going to tell you a quick dream that I had very quick. This this dream was like five days ago. I saw a bunch of people, they were in hooded outfits. They were in these big hoodies, okay? And I knew it was definitely some type of dark demonic force that was there. And they literally came to me and said, we want you and everybody else gone. So what they were basically saying, when I got up, I heard God say that, they're watching us. So we already knew that we're being monitored, okay? We're being monitored. And there's a battle between good and evil, basically. That's what's happening, right? A lot of the anointed ones, the real anointed ones, let me tell you something. There's a lot of people that, that claim to know God and that read the Bible and stuff like that. But, you know, they don't go through what a lot of the those who know God and spirit go through. Do you see what I'm saying? There's a reason. There's a reason for that. It doesn't mean the ones people that know God in spirit are sinning and doing horrible things. No, the purpose is bigger. The purpose is different. God said it's not that they're not important, but God will give diff each of us a different purpose. And some of our purpose may be more important than others. Do you get what I'm saying? There's a reason why you're able to see and hear certain things that a lot of people can't see and hear. So when they said we want you gone, it's confirmation they don't want children of God here. This is basically the Antichrist. They don't want children of God here, okay? And you have to understand that these people that the, these that work for these demonic forces, obviously they work for the devil, they have access to people in our lives. Do you get what I'm saying? That's why we are being um, treated the way we're being treated by close friends, by family, by people who we think like us or love us and they end up switching on us. You know, they end up t um, going against us, right? I'm not going to go into too much details about that. That's very, very, very deep. And that wasn't the point of my video. <laughs> I wanted to just give you guys that scripture and remind you guys about that scripture and that little dream thing. But what God was saying last night is that we're important and that what I was also told was that he is very much upset right now. He's very upset. He is upset at the way people think about you. Not just you, I will say us. He is upset at the way people treat us and think about us, okay? Just like when we watch Christ get crucified and we're upset about the crucifixion, God watches what happens to us and it hurts God to the core when he sees what happens to us, okay? Now, I put out a message the other day about money, about giving it back. Last night I heard again, give it back, give it back. So... I got more information about what he meant by that. He meant that some, for clarity, re reiteration, 
He meant that someone gave you a money as a gift, okay, as a reward, as a gift. And the thing about it is that this person, the them giving you the reward, it was not a, out of pure intentions, all right? This is the kind of person that will feel will, will will feel like they're entitled to your life after giving you some sort of whether it's sowing a seed, whether it's a donation, whether it's just someone just wanting to help you out or just lending it to you or whatever the situation is. And I feel like this is a learning experience for all of us. It doesn't mean that all of us gave got a thousand dollars from someone. No, it, it it can be a learning experience for all of us. Because what God was saying is that some people, not all money is good money. And some people, when they give you something, they don't give it to you from the kindness of their heart. They're really giving it to you because they they want to be entitled. They feel they want to feel entitled to you. Like you get what I'm saying. Like they want to feel entitled to you. And some people will actually give it to you just to use it against you. All right. And you know, God was saying that He is very much upset that of the way people are treating us. Like, cause remember, God can see what we can't see. God can see what we can't see, and. He can literally see how someone, someone's motives. He can see someone's motives. He can see how someone, you know, will say, hey, I have a gift for you. I'm going to give you $100. I'm going to give you $50. I'm going to give you $1,000. And it's from the kindness of my heart. He can literally see how the person can give it to you. And then months later, regret giving it to you and, and decide and they wish and never gave it to you. And, and you haven't done anything to them for them to regret it. It's just they may see that you're getting blessed. They may see that you're, you know, moving forward. And it may just be some sort of envy towards you and whatever entitlement they thought they were going to have or whatever type of access to your life they thought they were going to have, they never had access to it, right? So that's why God says, if you are the person that got the thousand dollars, you got to give it back. Because this person is going to change their ways later on. They're going to want you, they're going to say you owe them or they're going to be using that against you. Sometimes people will throw things in your face and say, well, I gave you this and they'll throw it in your face because you're not giving them what they want. It's, it was given to you as a form of control and he's not happy with it. He's very upset. God said he is not playing around when it comes to his children. What he also said, I wrote everything down. He also showed me a mustard seed. Okay, and he was saying he wants us to have faith as a mustard seed and not to give up, not to give up. Okay, after I started seeing the mustard seed, it went from one mustard seed in the vision to like a bunch of mustard seeds. <laughs> so basically, he said, I'm going to fulfill the faith from this one mustard seed. See, basically, you have faith so small as a mustard seed. I fulfilled the I fulfilled you know, your faith, I fulfilled the prophecy through that the little bit of faith that you had because I fulfilled that one prophecy. Now your faith has become bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. That's why he was showing a bunch more, a bunch of mustard seeds. So he's saying all the things that I promised you, have I not been able to give them to you? Have I not been showing you day by day that you're getting closer to your biggest prophecy? Like all the small prophecies I've given you, Aren't they showing you that it's, it's leading you to the bigger prophecy? Like, so you have to understand like that one mustard seed, you know, him fulfilling that one mustard seed prophecy. It's kind of like you, there's more mustard seeds because he's trying to say, if I can fulfill one prophecy, what makes you think I'm not going to fulfill the rest of them? So he wants you to have faith and he also wants you to not give up because the devil wants you guys to give up. That's why every time you're about to do something, something happens. Okay, something will crash or something will break or, the, you know, yeah, what I'm saying, like, there's always some sort of like interference, right? Another thing he was saying is that, um, yes, so some of you guys may be saying, well, God, why do you allow these things? Why do you allow people to, to give us things if you know that they're going to do this to us? Why not warn us not to take it in the first place? Sometimes he will warn you guys not to take it and you guys won't listen. And then the other times as well, sometimes God has to, has to, have examples sometimes he will use uh, use our situations as examples so in order for the enemy to get go through some sort of consequence they have to know what they did wrong do you get what i'm saying so sometimes god will say even though god knows what's going to happen god would allow them you know to 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 do what they did so then god can when god they go through their wrath god can be like well this is the reason why you're going through what you're going through okay it's like god likes to use our life lifetime things or whatever we're doing in our life as examples you get what i'm saying like he likes to prove examples to us so we understand we understand why we're getting blessed or why we're getting some sort of consequence right another thing he was saying is okay so he was saying he's not playing around this year when it comes to us his anointed right and he showed me a vision of an enemy choking on their own tongue that's all i'm gonna say i'm not going into details about that 
choking on their own tongue yeah so he showed okay. me um a vision of an enemy choking on their own tongue so i feel like this is someone that may have had a serpent tongue and they may have they may have played with a double-edged sword let's just say that okay because yeah the vision i saw they were choking on their own tongue who chokes on their own tongue like how does that happen do you get what i'm saying so when i saw that i was like whoa that's deep you know what i mean but the main message that he wanted me to let you guys know is to not give up have faith and he also said have faith as small as a mustard seed and then he also said you're very much important and he is not playing around when it comes to you okay i love you guys i'll talk to you soon i have a very quick message i'll post it after love you guys bye